But first, let me go to this beautiful picture. Now, this is our life-size picture, of course, of an atom. Now, is an atom really this big? What you think? Y'all think it's big like this? You think that it's the size of a plate that you can eat spaghetti and meatballs off of? Absolutely not. So one of the limitations to our models that we have is that they're life-size so that you can be able to decipher. The problem is... The atom is microscopic. Now, if you remember at the very beginning of whenever we asked you to get the piece of paper and start cutting, you remember how many times you had to cut it in order for it to be the size of an atom, okay? You couldn't even cut it that many more times because you ran out of paper, right? So that's what I want to make you remember whenever we talk about the sizes, okay? They are extremely small. Now. The middle part of it is going to be called the nucleus. And that's the middle part. Now, when we talk about the nucleus, we talk about the brain, whenever you're talking about cells and stuff like that. Right now, this is the nucleus. Inside of the nucleus is the protons, which is why I have this plus sign, and the neutrons, which is why I have the zero, because it's neutral, okay? And then this right here is an electron, and it's located in the electron cloud. Okay? So we have the nucleus that's in the middle that has protons and neutrons. And then we have the electron cloud that has electrons. Okay? So now we're going to go over to this part of it, and we're going to go ahead and fill it out. So... One of the lines is going to be the location. Where is it located at? Where can you find it? If you're looking for it anywhere, where can you find it? The second one is the charge. The third one is the mass. How heavy is it? Okay? And we're going to do that for all three particles together, and then you're going to do it on your own. Uh, also, I have a couple of models here. Remember the limitations is they're too big. Atoms are really small. So... This one has electrons in the electron cloud, and we have protons and neutrons in the nucleus, okay? And we'll see if you can take a guess at what this one is, okay? If you go to count, we'll see if you can take a guess at what this one is, okay? So next, we have another one if you pay attention. We have our protons and neutrons in the nucleus, and we have the electrons, say it with me, in the electron cloud. Last, I want you to do it by yourself. What's in the middle? What and what? Say it loud. Exactly, protons and neutrons. And then we have what? Say it. Electrons located in the electron cloud. You guys are geniuses. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fill this out. So these are an atom subatomic particles. Okay? An atom subatomic particles. The first one is going to be a proton. Okay? A proton is positive and like a positive charge like a battery whenever you have a battery you got the top part they got the little indention at the very top where you got the little i don't know what that is but you know what it is you know how to put it in the little plus part that is positive and then you have an electron that one is gonna be negative The negative sign. And then last but not least, whenever you're driving a car and you put it in neutral, it's just going to go the way the wind blows. Okay? So it's not going to go positive, negative. It's not going to go up or down. It's going to go wherever the wind blows or if you're on a hill or something like that in whatever direction it wants to go in. Okay? Neutral. They like this. Mm. 
neutral. So that is a neutron. And it is neutral. I think I spelled that right. <laughs> but that's all right. You get it. <laughs> How you spell neutral? N E. N E U. Yay. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, we got our neutron that's neutral, our electron that's negative, and our proton that's positive. Now, also to remember, proton starts with the P, proton positive, 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 proton positive, proton positive. Now, let's talk about where are they? The proton is where? Remember, we said it's in the nucleus. And the electron is in the electron cloud. And the neutron is in the nucleus. All right, and now we're gonna talk about their mass. Now, the proton and the neutron are both in the nucleus and they have the same mass, but they're two separate masses, but it's the same number. So the mass for a proton is one, AMU. For an electron is zero, AMU. And a neutron is one, AMU. Now, whenever you get on into the um, PowerPoint, you'll see uh, one of the different activities that you have will will not be specific to tell you the numbers like I was, but you know that the ones that do have mass or the ones that do have a number beside them are going to be the protons and the neutrons, okay? Those are going to be the ones that are going to have mass. And the electron, of course, is zero, okay? So hopefully you all got it. See you soon.